Welcome to PAR Podcast, episode 75.52. PAR Podcast is an audio supplement for Public Administration Review, the premier professional journal in the field of public administration. This year, 2015, PAR celebrates 75 years of furthering public administration research, theory, and practice. This episode features comments by Mogan Jin Peterson, a doctoral candidate in the Department of Political Science and Government at Aarhus University in Aarhus, Denmark. Mr. Peterson discusses his article titled, Activating the Forces of Public Service Motivation, Evidence from a Low-Intensity Randomized Survey Experiment. This article is currently available on Early View and we published in Public Administration Review, Issue 75, Volume 5. My article concerns the construct of public service motivation that is, motives that are largely but not exclusively altruistic and are grounded in public institutions. For the remainder of this podcast, I'll refer to public service motivation as PSM. Okay, so since the early 1990s, PSM has received growing research attention within the field of public administration management. In particular, much empirical evidence supports that employees with greater PSM are likely to perform better in public service jobs. So, given that employee PSM is a contributing factor to performance, a salient question relates to how public managers might take advantage of and profit from this knowledge. This article suggests that research on how to capitalize on the positive effect of PSM has primarily focused on what I refer to as PSM cultivation. That is, how to foster and sustain high PSM. For example, some scholars emphasize the role of work environments and how organizational features may promote employee PSM by organizational socialization processes. In contrast, this article examines the effect of what I refer to as PSM activation, that is how to actively engage an individual's present level of PSM. In short, whereas PSM cultivation relates to the socialization of public service values and norms, PSM activation is more about the external priming of public service motives that, in turn, promotes the saliency of PSM as the motivational basis for individual action. So why is research attention to PSM activation of interest? Although related construct, PSM cultivation and PSM activation refer to distinct motivation processes and should therefore be studied separately. Also, research finds that public employees generally exhibit relatively high PSM. Research on how to increase and sustain employee PSM is thus commendable, but examining how PSM can be actively engaged is equally beneficial. Ultimately, public managers may increase organizational performance using a combination of PSM-related practices, some related at PSM cultivation, others at activating the human resource of employee PSM that are already present in the work environment. The article asks the following questions. First, can we possibly capitalize on the positive effects of PSM by means of external activation efforts? That is, intervention aimed at engaging an individual's present level of PSM. Second, how does the effect of efforts aimed at activating PSM compare with that of comparable efforts to activate another type of motivation? The article seeks to answer these questions using a randomized survey experiment among 528 law students. The experiment treatment consists of subtle text distinction in a survey item on the amount of time that an individual is willing to spend on the task of completing a future research survey. A relatively simple and voluntary task involving no external rewards, that is, for instance, money. In addition to a control condition, the article employs two PSM treatments, respectively referring to the PSM dimensions of public interests and compassion. Moreover, for examining the relative effects of PSM activation, the article operates with a treatment targeting a non-PSM type of motivation that specifically relates to a person's need for feelings of self-importance. That is, a type of motivation relating to so-called ego involvement. To clarify the distinction between PSM and this particular type of self-importance motivation, the article uses self-determination theory, a widely used theory of human motivation and behavior in the field of social psychology. Okay, 
So, why is research on the relative effects of PSM activation a salient matter? Well, self-determination theory suggests that employees are guided by a combination of different motivations. Therefore, the real-life implementation of any PSM policy should be based on more than expectations of a positive net effect. That is, research should also test the extent to which managerial policy efforts could be better spent elsewhere, as in interventions activating other forms of motivation than PSM. Okay, so what does the survey experiment show? Well, first, the results support that it is possible to increase employee effort and performance through organizational PSM activation efforts. In other words, PSM is an organizational human resource that can be directly activated. Second, the finding offer insights into how the effects of PSM activation efforts compare with those of effort to, uh, towards the activation of a less self-determined form of motivation. Specifically, the findings show that the positive effects of the PSM treatments and the motivation treatment targeting feelings of self-importance are similar in size. A finding implying that practitioners may achieve similar positive benefits from PSM activation and activation of other less self-determined forms of motivation. Uh, the finding thus supports that PSM scholars should not neglect that human motivation is a multi-dimensional construct. Future PSM research should thus examine how PSM relates to other forms of motivation, how the effect of different motivation on performance compare to one another, and finally, how different management practices may promote and activate the different motivations. In the words of James Perry and colleagues, PSM research is thus maturing but remains a work in progress. Um, thank you for listening. If you found this preview of interest, I hope you'll give the article a closer look. Thanks. This concludes Power Podcast, episode 75.52. To listen to additional episodes and learn more about Public Administration Review, please visit us online at publicadministrationreview.org. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at PA Review. Thanks for listening.